Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's Dave. Just to um, catch up, it's been uh, quite a few months since I've put anything out, um, but it's 16.29 in the afternoon. It's Thursday, the 4th of August already. Just wanted to address one or two things that have happened that haven't affected me and what I'm about to talk about. Some of you will probably say, what on earth has this got to do with you? And you'd be quite right um, to say that. Thing was, I can um, identify one person that has been uh, a constant all the way throughout all of this unpleasantness that has developed. Um, and um, I think we all know who that is. Now, my involvement with this is absolutely minimal, but it, um, it is important enough for me to make this little community aware that um, when I was a moderator on Matthew's channel, I had an unsolicited email from this person um, who tried to manipulate me to ban somebody who he alleged had been terrorizing or bullying a certain other person. A lady. Now I don't. Um, it, it doesn't bother me when I get emails from idiots, but uh, you know, to try to tell me to do something, I'm afraid, you know, it's just not going to happen. But um, I paid absolutely no attention to that email, but I did send it off to the channel um, owner with a few comments. Uh, now I haven't got that email because I don't keep things, unlike other people who seem to backlog an awful lot of um, stuff that they can pull out um, to try to intimidate or to say and, uh, and do unpleasant things to people um, in the future endeavor. Now, that particular email was released by Matthew to a group of people. Now, Matthew knows he's done this because I pulled him up on it as did someone else. But what was disappointing is that um, the other person in the email forwarded it to the person who is the uh, always been the constant person who is at the back of all this unpleasantness. So, I mean, I've forensically gone through who it could have been. Uh, I know who it is. It, it doesn't bother me. And I've made no big deal that, um, um, you know, my email is out there. It doesn't bother me at all. I can all block anybody that, you know, it's easily dealt with. But um, it was it was sent through innocently from Matthew. He knows he did wrong, but it was the other person. And I know the other person knows that that person passed it on to another person. But the gist of the, the uh, email that I got from um, this constant person behind all of this unpleasantness, it, it's in my, this is my opinion, of course, um, tried to manipulate me to ban somebody who he alleged had been bullying another person. Um, and um, I was having none of it. So I just emailed it through to uh, the channel owner. And I said, look, Matt, you know, I'm just not um, happy with this. I'm not even going to respond to uh, to the email um, and I just reminded him that uh, I wasn't appreciative of the fact that he innocently or by mistake released my email. So as I said before in some of my previous um, uploads is that if anybody does want to get in touch with me leave a message after my latest upload which in this instant will be this one this afternoon. Um, so with with regards to uh, all the unpleasantness and an awful lot of people have been um, um, affected by it and it's pretty sad really when when you get people that we uh, in this community we we don't I don't know anybody personally but I suppose the best we could call ourselves are virtual acquaintances and at best that is that is it but um, when you try to uh, you know, to release personal and private information, doxing and, uh, you know, when people are really at uh, a very um, 
lowest ebb and very vulnerable to to release those voice messages but what is even more surprising was when this particular person was was on his channel we all know who i mean without me naming that person when he said oh let me show you what i've got and he opens up the file and there was masses of um voice recordings and all that sort of stuff so why why would you want to keep those for any other purpose other than to use it for the future to embarrass people um now with regards to to myself any emails i've um made to people inside this little community and there isn't many i don't keep any of those things they, they just go and i in a week or so i delete them they're just junk as far as i'm concerned but when it comes to um keeping information the uh, email that i've mentioned that i received from um this person i deleted i haven't i haven't got proof that it's been sent but the uh the channel owner has got a copy of it as did the other person within the email that was copied in it wasn't sent as a bcc copy it was put in for everybody that received it we all got a copy of everybody else's personal email um, which was a little bit surprising because the email that i got wasn't from a person that was on that original email so there we are that's where i'm at uh, with it at the moment and uh, there still seems to be an awful lot of flack going around um and that's it as far as i'm concerned you know I, I was tried to be become part of uh any involvement with all of this sort of stuff um i really don't appreciate it but um you know i don't i understand that people fall out um i don't like falling out with everybody and my my uh standing is with it if if you're not happy with um somebody's channel rather than slag it off or run them down just don't go on there and uh you know as a content provider if anybody's not happy with your content you know just jog on and you know find somebody more suitable to enjoy um i like matthew's channel i'd go on there and he's taken a bit of a change a little bit of a change in the last month or so you know it's a good thing to change um and uh i did catch uh one or two comments this morning from uh, another one another person who is fast becoming probably number two on the most stirrers list um and uh you know with regards to um whenever there's any drama i'm always there well that's uh coming from somebody that must be there before me uh, i'm probably sub to about 16 channels most of them within this little corner um and i use one account which is the one i'm broadcasting to you on now so if anybody sees my name with uh without this particular um logo then you know it's not me but if it's on ed any other platform and i don't use any other platform apart from youtube uh which i do enjoy it's it's a lot of fun as far as i'm concerned and it's a fantastic tool to find out uh, any information um all sorts of things as well as the uh social interaction which is always good fun but um when you do see meltdowns in relationships and uh all this unpleasantness as far as i'm concerned it's um it all goes back to one person and uh you know he, that one person tried to pull me into this argument by banning somebody that um, he alleged that this person was bullying a particular woman for over a year. Um, now, I wasn't party to any of that. I'm not excusing what has or hasn't been done. And uh, Matthew's got a, you know, quite a robust attitude. If you ban people, they'll come back with a, another account, which I can understand that because there's lots of people that goes on to matt's channel i think we all know who i'm talking about that um 
that do go on other channels and create mischief. They do like a bit of drama and they like stirring the pot and leaving snidey remarks. Um, but that's fine, you know. Um, but with regards to the comments that were made to me this morning from uh, that particular person, you've no need to worry about me being on Matt's channel anymore um, because I just, I just won't tolerate that sort of uh, unpleasantness. And, uh, you know, it's not my loss. It's, um, so that's it from me. And uh, I hope everybody's well. I'm glad um, everybody went on to uh, Paddy's Live last night. I didn't stay too long. I had a bit of a busy day today. Had to get some uh, legal things sorted out. I made a few phone calls when I came back. Uh, anybody that wants to know about my legal stuff, I'm afraid I'm not able to tell you anything other than it's a bit of a tease and I'm not going to say what it is because I've been advised by my brief not to uh, to say anything until it's all been concluded. So um, it's well on the way. And um, even then, I'm still not sure whether it's um, in my interest to release any information about it because I would then become a hypocrite because I've always said when people argue on here on a social platform, any personal stuff should stay private um, and um, when it spills into the real world and people's feelings get hurt I think it's um, just wrong but that's my that's my take on things um, so I just wanted to congratulate Paddy last night you're live I couldn't stay too long and what I do like about your channel Paddy is that um, you've got a robust a robust um, point of view and uh, you give anybody that um, is in your sights the opportunity to back up what they say as well as giving them the opportunity to um, put their point of view across um so big up to you paddy i do appreciate um what you've tried to to do in especially last night and um people uh, you know that were in the chat i couldn't stay too long because i was up and early this up and away early this morning I had some personal style to get I did get my pillows so thank you for everybody that wants to join me in the pillow fight I'm afraid you've missed that all of the old stuff is now being disposed of down the uh, recycling but uh, there you have it people um, so do try to be more considerate when you uh, when you let personal stuff out into the real world because somebody somewhere who has got ulterior motive is going to clip it and use it against you in the future. So there's a lesson there for us all to be learned in myself as well. So as far as that goes, I hope everybody concerned is going to uh, recover. I hope you are anyway, because it's been a, it's been quite a good uh, community. Um, and um, I'm, I'm just glad that Freddie and Bex are okay. And, and despite all their upset, they seem to be okay. Um, so uh, I just wanted to clear the air just a little bit um, with regards to a certain person trying to drag me in on all of this. So um, I wasn't party at all to anything that's developed prior to me receiving this email, but um, we were all aware of the unpleasantness that was in unfolding. And um, hopefully things will start to settle down now. So that's it from me. I don't know how long I've been going on, but um, I just want to wish you all well. Have a good evening and, um, you know, good luck to everybody and uh, we'll catch up soon. See you soon. Bye bye.